Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Maya tutorial, I'm going to talk about the spin polygon edge. A lot of times when modeling, you want to be able to redirect edge flow. And being able to do so makes it in a way where you can redirect how the selections go across your surface of your model. So in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to do that and why it's useful. In Maya, you have a way to spin a polygon edge. In order to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is go to a plane, and then I'm going to press F on the keyboard, and then let's go to top view, and we're going to go to edge mode. So right click, go to edge, and as you can see that we can select edges, Say, for an example, if I double click on this edge, you can see it carries all the way through. And we can, we can do that as it goes through a pole, in this case, this four-sided pole, all the way through and until it terminates up against a border. Or a five-sided pole or a five-edge pole or a three edge pole. Now, so what we're going to do is select an edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to modify, uh, excuse me, edit mesh. And we have two options. We have spin edge backward and spin edge forward. So I'm going to click on spin edge backwards. And let me undo. And then we can go to spin edge forward, as you can see here. Now, I'm going to undo. Let me go back to edit mesh. And we're going to go to spin edge backward. And I want to demonstrate something for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select another edge and go to edit mesh. Again, go to spin edge backward. And now as you see, although it looks like I created a few triangles here, in fact, they're actually a quad, a four sided polygon. And so I'm gonna to go to vertex. So right click, vertex. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select and clean up a little bit and then go to W on your keyboard. And we're just going to select a few of these vertices and just sort of organize this a little bit better. And you can see here that we have our four sides. And let me adjust this one here as well. So I'm just selecting a vertex and using uh, this square here in order to maneuver between these two axis points. And so now what we have with using the spin edge backward, you can see spin edge backward and spin edge forward, by using these functions, we're able to affect the edge flow of our topology. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to face, and you can see here that where before we had an edge flow that just went right across, here I can select, shift, double uh, click on the face right next to it. Oops, excuse me. Make sure I'm in uh, correct tool. And when I select this, poly uh, this face, and then shift, double click. <laughs> when I shift, double click, you can see that we have this edge flow and you can notice that by its selection. And an edge flow is basically an uh, imaginary line that goes through each parallel edge that we have. And so it goes right next to it, right through it and into the next 
polygon uh, into the next face. So this is a way of redirecting our edge flow for our purposes. Now keep in mind, you do have a pole, like I mentioned before, but in some cases, you can't get away with using a five-sided pole. It's only an issue when you start having triangles and uh, six or more sides to a pole, six or more edges coming out of one vertex. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.